Hey guys, this one will be short. Uh, it's just a one-nighter at another harvesters called the uh, Gin and Granary, which was a farm to table steakhouse. Uh, steak was hit or miss. We had a couple good pieces and a couple tough pieces. Uh, Tyler had pork chops, so it's really good. Sides are really good, mac and cheese, garlic mash, all fresh. Uh, very tasty, onion rings really good also. But um, as we're driving through San Angelo, Texas, it, I guess it's like the deer capital of the world deer everywhere. I mean, we probably saw a few hundred of them, including about 50 <laughs> dead ones hit by cars uh, on the side of the road. Um, two even went running right in front of us and one got whacked by a car and another one we saw uh, had its, I guess, head stuck in a fence where one of the locals was trying to help them out. So, pretty interesting. Uh, the kids were kind of traumatized on it, but they made it through it. Um, give a Thanks to uh, Jake Powers, he was part of the Ultimate Wakefield Road Trip that I went on a couple years ago. He went a couple years prior um, to me and kind of linked up on one of the Facebook groups. Uh, first time I met him, great guy, has 50 acres, uh, told us to stop by, took us out on his uh, ranger, riding around his property. He raises uh, exotic animals. Uh, we got to see some, some more deer and uh, addicts, I guess they're called the white antelope. They're one of the most endangered species in the world, and uh, he kind of braids, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> breeds and raises them and sells them to zoos and, and all that stuff and other breeders. So, uh, thanks for that. Then we hit the road. So, check it out. Another Harvest Host. It's a, a newer one, I believe. I think there's only one review on it. Of course, we're in the middle of nowhere right now in San Angelo, Texas. But this one is the Gin and Gannery uh, Steakhouse. We had um, the steak, it was kind of hit or miss, I guess, on what we got. But pork chops were good, mac and cheese was good. Uh, everything else was good, just one of our steaks was tough, the other one was pretty good. But I'm for the Harvest Hills parking area. It's huge. Uh, we got here Friday night at about seven o'clock, so dinner time still had no problem getting in. It's all gravel. Again, all farmland surrounding us, so it's really quiet. The parking lot is lit up pretty well with uh, lights, so if that bothers you, definitely need to put some curtains down. But nice little spot. Easy in, easy out, and quiet. So definitely worth a stop if you're coming through this area. <laughs> 